Hey guys, Kevin at GloveRelays.com and today we have a before and after shot of this vintage McGregor. I looked earlier, I couldn't find a model number. I, the only thing I really do know, based off what I can see, it says handcrafted and that it's made in the USA. So today we're actually going to do three different things to this glove. First, full clean condition and relace and tan. Second, we're going to go ahead and put a piece of padding on the interior palm. And third, we're going to go ahead and replace this thumb loop. That just involves when the, uh, when the lace is completely removed, cutting out the old one and lacing a, a new one. So uh, bear with me one quick second and you will see the after shot and all three of these updates. And uh, if you have any questions in regards to gloves and or glove relacing, feel free to contact me through my website at www.gloverelace.com. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys. Kevin at GloveRelace.com, and here is the after shot of this McGregor. Uh, this is the McGregor, and I, and I still could not find the, the model number, so I'm sorry. This is an older McGregor, either, either kangaroo or buffalo leather, based on the feel of it. I'm going to lean more towards the probably the buffalo. Um, but yeah, there you guys go. There's your full release and tan. It's nice and stiff, ready to be taken right back out onto the field. It's been cleaned and conditioned. It was actually conditioned a couple times as the leather ended up being fairly dry. But uh, there you guys go. There you use your full release in tan. So if you have any questions in regards to gloves and or glove relacing, feel free to contact me through my website at www.gloverelace.com. Thanks, guys. 